Our team coverage continues on the neighbor islands tonight. Olivia's current track has it impacting Hawaii Island first. And that's where Bridget Namata is standing by in Hilo tonight. Bridget? Well, Kathy, it was only two weeks ago that Lane, uh, that Lane passed by the islands, impacting the big island the most. And with Olivia near, emergency officials are reminding the county, please keep your guard up. Even though emergency officials were prepared for Lane by opening up two emergency operation centers in Hilo and Kona, they weren't expecting the amount of flooding Hilo received. The waters off Hilo Bay are still brown and muddy. According to Civil Defense, the Big Island will not activate the emergency operation center until Tuesday morning. I'm told at this point it is too early to tell what effects residents of Hilo should expect, though they are closely monitoring Olivia. And they say this is a good reminder to stay prepared. We stopped by HPM Building Supply Store in Hilo, where residents were doing just that. You are just dealing with the after effects of Lane. You flooded. Yes, yes, we are. So this time we're trying to get ready. You know, we don't like deal with that again. You know, the damage. So we kind of extending our gutters out. Don't get complacent. You know, you could get used to it. It's like, well, the last one we were fine. Um, the next one you might not be. You know, the next one might park over us like the one that tore up uh, Lower Puna and it took out all the uh, Albizia trees. Civil Defense says right now the usual prep work is underway, like cleaning out storm drains and canals. The mayor's office tells me there will be an emergency briefing that's going to be tomorrow morning. We'll be here and we'll make sure to keep you guys updated on what the county is doing to keep residents safe. Live in Hilo, I'm Bridget Amata for K212 News. Back to you, Kathy.